Do you ever feel like you have too much to do and really just not enough time to accomplish it all? I know I do. Well, joining us to teach us how to take charge of our time is Pam Solberg Tapper. She's a life coach with Coach for Success. For thank you, so thank you for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me, Julie. And I guess my first question, really going into this, are what are some of those triggers? that make us stressed or overwhelmed? Oh, there's tons of triggers that make us stressed or overwhelmed. It's how we manage our time. And uh, we have a scene today to show us when a coworker is with another coworker, when it doesn't go quite so well. Let's take a look. Hey, Carly, you ready to go? Uh, I thought I canceled. I, I have too much to do. What do you have to do? Uh, all this stuff. But people keep interrupting me. Who keeps interrupting you? Well, you, for one, you need to leave. Is this Facebook? Uh-oh, Facebook. Well, okay, so what are some things we can do to really manage a situation like that? Well, in that situation, you could tell how stressed out she was. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the first things we have to watch for is those time killers, mm -hmm. those things that we really don't know how much time that they take, like, uh, like Facebook, like what happened there, or emails and things like that that really take more time than we think we do. They're just time killers. So what I like to recommend is, is absolutely we need to use all those things in communicating on the day-to-day -day basis, but batch them out. Uh, a real great rule of thumb that I suggest is to, to look at uh, electric media and um, and emails and things like that first thing in the morning maybe right before lunch maybe midday and after day after you know just before you go home and that way uh, when we batch things we're much more effective and another thing to do is to take off those uh, those ringers and those uh, bells and things that <laughs> let us know when things are coming in because obviously we want to go right back to them and, yeah. and take a look at them so it takes a little discipline Julie check them right away yeah, yeah. and then another one is man you talked about this a little bit managing interruptions maybe like a text message or the dings on your phone what other ones are oh yeah interruptions well like what happened to her she got tons of interruptions and that's why she forgot to let her friend know that she canceled <laughs> canceled getting together and according to the Wall Street Journal uh, they said that the average office worker either self-interrupts or gets interrupted by someone else every three minutes, and it takes 23 minutes to kind of get oriented again. So that's a really time waster. So put a do not disturb sign on your office, ask for cooperation from your coworkers to only interrupt you unless it's urgent. Yeah. Or if that doesn't work, you can always work off site if that works with your company, uh, going to a coffee shop or something like that. Wow, 23 minutes. And I guess we're gonna jump to this third one is use block time. Can you explain that a little? Yeah, block time. You know, in, in the scene, uh, she said, I've got all this stuff, all this stuff. Well, block time is when you make an appointment with yourself. Make an appointment to work on certain things that are priority, certain projects. So you actually put time in your calendar for yourself to work on that project. Some people do it first thing in the morning when they're freshest. Some people do it uh, Friday afternoons before they're done for the week. But it's an appointment with yourself to do what you need to do.